Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. In today's video, I'm really excited because I've been wanting to do this one for a little while, is share with you my top five skincare products. You know, the ones that I can't live without. So my first one is a product from Evelyn. It's a toning lotion. Now you may know, if you've watched some of my other videos, I'm not a fan of toning lotions. Well, I stand corrected, I am now. A toner basically balances the pH in your skin and the acid levels, which I think for young people or anyone of any age that has severe breakouts or is prone to acne, I think it's really important. Otherwise, it also is used to close the pores. Now, I've always said, well, cold water can do that. But as I have aged a little bit, my skin needs more. And this was recommended to me by Dr. Julia. What is different about this toner to the, the ones I've used previously, it has um, a number of different acids in it. It has lactic acid, it has salicylic acid, glycolic acid. It works like, as, like a little mini peel. My skin really tingles, I can feel it penetrating. That helps oxygenate the skin. It also helps rejuvenate cells. Uh, so I use that morning and night. And one tip, please, and I know you would have been told the total opposite to this. So when using a toning lotion uh, for your skin, please use your hands. Make sure your hands are thoroughly clean, not a cotton pad, not a cotton ball, because you lose half your product. And you can also leave little bits of the, um, the pad or the wool on your skin. Ooh, extra tip with Kelly. <laughs> the next skincare product that I cannot live without, and ladies over 30, please. <laughs> Please tell me you're using a vitamin C serum. I live, breathe vitamin C. And I use the Abaji vitamin C. What I love about the Abaji vitamin C, it, it states the percentage. I'm up to 20%. You can start on 10, go to 15, and then work your way up to 20%. That goes on, as soon as I put my toner on, I let the toner absorb into the skin, and then I apply my vitamin C, again, into the hand, all over the face. You'll see how I do this, especially around the eye area. Talking about eyes, this is one product that I have not changed for about seven years, and I love it, and I'm not giving it up for anyone. Well, I say that now, but let's see. Let's see what I'm doing when I'm 50. This is Abaji again, it's the Elastoderm Eye Cream. Morning and night, I am religious with this. And remember to whatever you put around your eye, ladies and gentlemen, please put around your lips. This area too, a little bit sensitive, but the lines, the lines around your lips. This is pretty much the same product, it's a serum, that's a cream. The roll-on, uh, the difference with this, it has uh, caffeine in it. So if you're prone to sort of puffiness, this is a good one for the morning and use the Elastoderm cream at night. If I'm on a short haul flight, this is great and I put it over my makeup. If I start to feel too dehydrated and a bit puffy, I just use this serum and I love the little roll on ball because it's cooling too, again, which will reduce puffiness. Now this is a night serum. It's from Cosmetics. It's called Serum 16. Hmm, 16. 16 is my favorite number. I've even got a tattooed on me. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> it has components of retinol in it. I haven't been able to use retinol on my skin. Okay, I have, and I've tried it, and I didn't like it. I know it's all part of the process, but the peeling, the redness, it was too harsh for my skin, and I wasn't willing to go for three weeks doing that because I think you've got to trust what you feel, how your skin is and what it's doing. But then I was introduced this one, the Serum 16 from Dr. Malik. I've been using this for about three weeks and my skin, I definitely can see the difference. These are the two new ones that I've introduced to my um, skincare routine. What I'm seeing with this is it um, has reduced any sort of, not pigmentation, but small sort of sunspots, so it's great for any sort of sun damage, great for deep lines as well as fine lines, crow's feet. So this is only in my evening routine, where this is day, 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 then this will be evening, evening, evening. So you only apply the serum at night, so it's part of my evening skincare routine. This is my final uh, skincare product that I highly recommend. This one I've been using for about four years and it will never leave my bag. My handbag, my makeup bag, my travel bag. This is from Morley Rituals. It's the Supreme Skin Face Serum. This is so hydrating. 
I can put this on, it might be during the day, I've done my skincare routine and then just halfway through the day, if I've got no makeup on, I will just plaster it all over my face, my neck and my decolletage. Or quite often I will just tap it around my eyes, like so, over my makeup as well. It's, it's extremely hydrating. So I use this on top of, not as an alternative to the eye creams and the eye serum that I use. And when I'm traveling, especially with no makeup and I'm up in the air for half an hour, this will go on. And long haul flights, I can't tell you, you must have this in your bag, in your travel bag, because it's so harsh flying. I, I fly home to, I'm from New Zealand, but home is where mum was from and that's where we moved to. So I go home to Australia every year, which is about a 27 hour flight. I couldn't do it without my Morley Rituals oil, seriously. It is really harsh on the skin, and if I do that every couple of hours and just keep hydrate, hydrate, hydrating my skin, I get off, okay, looking a little bit tired, but hydrated. Something I wanted to share with you too, which I think is really important, and you may, let me know actually, um, in the comments if, you, if your skin reacts like this, but when you get to a certain age, I find I'll use a product for a year or two, and then my skin's just gone a bit limp. It's just gone a bit there and it needs something new again. So I'm always changing my skincare routine, changing my products, not all of my products. I'll bring in something new, give that a go, see how it looks. If I love it, use that for about a year and then out with the old, in with the new again. So these two products are new for me starting just a month ago and I can already see the difference in my skin. So don't be afraid, don't be afraid to, to introduce new products and they don't all have to be from the same um, brand. These are my top five essential skincare products. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your top five products that you use in the um, comments below. And if this is the first video you've seen of mine, I do many videos on beauty, paleo and lifestyle. So please subscribe and you can find me on social media at memore.tv. Okay, so it will go toner, eye cream, and then my serum. Hey there. Hey Siri. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey, we're filming. Stop <laughs> eating. Quiet on set. So selfish. <laughs> I haven't been able to use retinol. <laughs>